Hello. This weekend I managed to get hold of some of these uh, life-changing brushes. To me that name seems just a little bit um, over the top. But um, apparently they are very good for blending. Um, I did not buy the expensive batch. Um, I think they're about £35 for a set of 10. Um, obviously I've only got five here but they came from Lidl and they were just 6 .99. so I'm very happy with that. I've gone for the rose gold so they're quite pretty as well and as you just saw they come in this um, container here as well so that just um, snaps on and you can just stand that on your desk. I am going to try them out now so as you see I haven't actually used them yet so um, I've just taped my card base down with some it's actually masking tape I always use it for stenciling and it comes from Wilco they actually do two different sizes I think and I've always found it really good I just tap it onto my clothes a couple of times just to take um, the real tackiness off so it's not too bad um, as far as I'm aware you just um, rub it into your ink and then rub it onto the card I'm now going to go in with seedless preserves. Um, all I've done is wipe the brush off on the page. You can't really see that because it's quite light. Um, but apparently you can wash them. Um, best thing to do is um, just wet them and rub them over a bar of soap apparently and then just let them dry naturally. So but I'm going to try this with the seedless preserves. And the good thing appears to be that you can just build up the layers really easily. Um, I do. F and now I am using the wilted violet. Now, because I've gone with seedless preserves and it's lighter than the wilted violet, um, I'm not worried about any ink contaminating this. I'm going to rub it over my page anyway, but there's really nothing on it anyway that I'm particularly concerned about because I just want to add a slightly different type. Again, I'm going to clean that off on my page. That's why I always work with a journal beside me so I can um, clean off things and not waste anything. And I'm then going to go in with a carved pumpkin because it's darker than this one that I've used up here. And you can see I've been using the purple but it hasn't come off onto my pad. And then I could splash in water so I get the oxidization effect, but 
I haven't decided what I'm going to do that. I just literally wanted to test out the brushes and uh, share them with you. So thank you so much for watching. Um, it was a really quick video. Um, let me know what you think and whether you've bought these um, and um, what you think of them. And until next time, cheerio.